All right, let's look at this question today. Uh, again, if you haven't tried this, please stop this video now. Try it first and then come back to it and see how you did. So we basically, this is a simple um, planet going around a star problem. We have three situations and the question's asking what happens if the masses of either the planet or the mass of the star changes. So we are gonna use just our basic um, gravitational force equation. And as you can see, the force is basically proportional to the two masses. It's also inversely to the radius squared, but if you look, the radii is the same in all three situations. So in this case, you know, if we quadruple the mass of the planet, then the mass of the force should also quadruple. And likewise, if we quadruple the mass of the sun or the star, then the, um, the force would also quadruple. So in the next case, they're asking, all right, now how would the speed change? How would it be different for B and C? So um, the, the question that they gave you in the, um, in the, the guide, um, I don't actually like it. What they're going to do here is going to kind of derive the, the equation for the, the planets, and that's fine. You should be able to definitely do that. So I'll let you kind of look over it. I'm not going to go through this. We've done this many, many, many times. The, the reason I don't like it is they're asking about this paragraph length response. And honestly, in like 95% of the cases, this is probably one of the few that, um, that I've seen like this, they usually don't want you doing mostly a math problem. They want it to be more conceptual. So even though this is in the, the rubric, I'll go ahead and say, you know, it's acceptable, but um, I'm going to do it in a slightly different way. So this is kind of how I approached it. Um, again, if you imagine... Um, the mass here, we're, we're quadrupling both masses, right? Which means the force should also quadruple. Now in case, I'm gonna do KC first. In KC, if you take a look at this, um, basically you're quadrupling the force, um, but the mass that's going around it is gonna be the same. So we're kind of using our little F equals MA equation here, right? So if we quadruple the force here, then, and the mass is the same, then the acceleration should quadruple. And at that, happens then the velocity is going to increase in this case you know if this quadruples this would only double because two squared would give us four but um, they're not asking for the specifics they just want to know if it would increase or decrease so case c clearly it's going to um, increase now case b if you look at this one yes the force doubles but the object moving in the circle the mass of the planet is also going to increase. So if this increase, I, don't, I think I said doubles, this quadruples, this will also quadruple, right? And so if both quadruple, right, the force quadruples and the mass quadruples, then the acceleration ultimately is going to be the same, and therefore the velocity would also be the same. So I'm not going to read what I wrote here. I think this is a much better response and much more indicative of what they're expecting on these paragraph questions. And remember, this year there will definitely be a paragraph type question. So go ahead and read this over. Um, make sure you understand. If you have any questions, let me know.